Hey there, happy day 1068 of What's Chapter Now. Sharon Hornell from here, and I actually forgot to do this video today. I was processing my videos, and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do my what the heck am I doing as I transition from the brick and mortar world to the online world business. Last day of 2020, and I guess I was so excited wrapping up the Get Up and Go Challenge today and talking about all the lessons that I've learned in 2020. And there were like 30 some, 30 some lessons and things that I was reminded of in 2020 that I didn't even realize until I started making a list yesterday saying, okay, what are some of the things that I learned and garnered and really uh, appreciated and some not so much appreciated, but really learned and were reinforced lessons learned for me during 2020. And I shared all those in the Get Up and Go Challenge. You're welcome to go check that out. I'm not going to repeat it here. It was like 18 minutes, a little over 18 minutes. So I don't need to go 18 minutes long saying things that I've already said today. But 2020 for a lot of people was a devastatingly bad negative year. For me, it was actually a really awesome good year. And I feel a little guilty saying that, but it wasn't awesome accidentally it ended up being a great year because I didn't just sit and worry and, and fret over what was going on I found ways to continue moving forward in my life and in my business and in my family and in my relationships in spite of all the chaos and crud and nonsense that was going on around me around me and everybody else because it was one of those things that happened in our lifetime probably a once in a lifetime thing where almost everyone on the planet was impacted by the same Thing, the same root cause and I think we'll continue to see and learn more about it and about COVID-19 I'm talking and about the unfolding of that and all the other unrest and things that it's caused and created in our world uh, you know it's not over because the calendar switches from 2020 to 2021 at, at midnight and wherever you are located uh, it'll continue and the, the saga and the games and the things that have been going on around us will continue there's always going to be things whirling around us that we don't have any control over but we always have control over how we react how we respond to it and I am grateful for 2020 and the craziness because it helped me to clarify what I'm doing why I'm here what my purpose is it helped me to create the get up and go challenge which has given me some kind of direction and funneling into how can I really help other people to, to deal with changes and challenges and things that are impacting them especially in chaotic times when they don't feel like they can do anything. There's always something that we can do. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the time I've gotten to spend with my daughter, my son, my son-in-law, my upcoming grandbaby, my current granddaughter. Uh, if it weren't for COVID-19, I never would have gotten to deepen those relationships, relationships with my sister. One of my sisters and I have gotten a lot closer this year because she's helped me out a ton during COVID-19. And she and I are both pretty high risk for COVID apparently according to the, the studies and the sayings and so we've had to be especially careful this year and so you know my ex-mother-in-law as well and so that's meant our whole little familiar unit has had to be especially cautious and careful so that we can take care of not only ourselves but one another as well so get up and go challenge I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it next or next year I sort of just finished off the year talking about lessons learned and hey this is our last final get up and go challenge for 20 20. And I just left it open because I will decide today and tonight what I want to do going forward with that. Am I going to let the get up and go challenge go and do something else? I want to do a challenge, a, a challenge summit this year. This June 2021, I want to do a challenge summit. So that'll sneak in or it won't sneak in. It has to be intentional. I will, I will create and schedule out that. But I also, I don't, I don't think I want to let the get up and go challenge die. I think that it, it adds great value to my life and to other people's lives as well. And so I think that I have to think through how do I want to use that and, and present that going forward. Uh, doesn't mean I have to do one every other month. In 2020, it worked really well because it kept me moving forward in all the areas and aspects of my life. But I don't know what 2021 exactly is going to look like from a challenge standpoint and challenge perspective. We'll see talk about non-committal right because I haven't decided yet I tend to decide things right before I start doing them <laughs> normally I'd be launching another challenge starting tomorrow and I'm like nah I need to give myself at least a week or so off from the challenge and the challenge aspect and decide how exactly I want to move forward with that and then how I want to move forward with my other projects that I have planned for 2021 as well so that's it that's all I've got today it's New Year's Eve I am going to wrap up my content I'm going to, to post it throughout the interweb I was listening to a training yesterday about the interweb. One thing about 2020, I have gotten to spend a 
incredible amounts of time with people I love and care about, although separated from other people I love and care about, and also spend time on projects and, and challenges and things that, uh, from a personal development standpoint, that are important to me moving forward in my life. And so it's been a great year for, for personal development as well as business aspects for me personally, but not so much for other people. So that's all I got today. I want to go and enjoy New Year's with the kids. And uh, again, we're in lockdown here in uh, curfew in, in Wisconsin, in Hudson, Wisconsin anyway. So <clears throat> there won't be any going out and celebrating, but I am going to go put a a nice beef roast in the crock pot and we're gonna have a nice yummy yummy dinner tomorrow all right have an amazing day happy new year i wish you and yours all of the best if i can help you anyway ask in the comments below otherwise i'll be with you tomorrow bye in 2021